بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ اسلامک ورشپ ریچولس دا مس کنسیپشن آئی لائک ٹو برنگ ان ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ریلیٹس ٹو دا پریئر آف استخارہ ناؤ اٹ از بین ڈائریکٹیڈ بائی دا پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دیٹ دا سپلیکیشن آف استخارہ شوڈ بی آفرڈ ونس وی پرے ٹو رکٹس آف نماز اینڈ آف کورس اٹس اے ویری ویری موونگ پریئر موونگ سپلیکیشن اینڈ اٹ ٹیلز ایس دیٹ وین وی آر ایٹ کراس روڈس وین وی آر ان ایبل ٹو ڈسائڈ آن اے سرٹن میٹر وی آسک گاڈ ٹو ہیلپ ایس اینڈ گائڈ ایس اینڈ ایف دا میٹر دیٹ وی آر تھنکنگ از گڈ فار ایس دین ہی شوڈ اوڈین اٹ فار ایس اینڈ ایف اٹ از ناٹ گڈ فار ایس دین ہی شوڈ ٹیک اٹ اوے فرام ایس اینڈ دس دس پریئر آف کورس از ہیز ویری موونگ ورڈس But unfortunately, people think that this supplication, as soon as one utters this supplication, it establishes a direct line with the Almighty, and the Almighty then responds to this, this uh, supplication, and people generally think that this response is in the form of a dream, and he, a person gets a certain indication in that dream. Now, it needs to be understood that the supplication of istikhara is a supplication, just like all of the supplications, it, is, it, it, it follows a basic principle, and that is that the supplication is only useful once we expend all our energies, all our efforts, all our intellect for the matter and the question. So the Almighty has ordained this. He says that whenever you want to ask my help, you want to seek God's help, then it is essential that one has to expend one's own effort, one's own efforts as far as possible. It should not be the case that one does not uh, expend his efforts and starts uh, supplicating before the Almighty. Obviously, this would be absolutely absurd. So uh, when we pray istikhara, when we supplicate for the istikhara prayer, then we have to expend all our intellect and all our energies and all our efforts and all our experience to find out what the right course of direction in a matter is. If we are in a deadlock, then the correct way is not to just give up and start supplicating. The correct way is to first expend all our intellect, all our mental energies and, and more, uh, our mental abilities to find out the solution and at the same time then pray to the Almighty to help us. Again, there's another misconception that at times people think that this uh, help is provided by God as soon as we pray this supplication of istikhara in a dream. So some indication comes to us in a dream. This, of course, obviously is not true. The Almighty, once we pray to Him, it is up to Him to accept or respond to our prayer or not. He may respond to our prayer and He may not respond to our prayer or supplication, just as in the case of other supplications. So he, if He chooses to respond to our prayer, it could be a number of things that, uh, uh, that He could do. For example, it could be an indication in the dream. It could be something which comes into our mind. We can get a brain wave. We can meet a person and he suddenly gives us an idea. So there could be a number of ways in which the Almighty helps. But again, this help is something which has a number of uh, multifarious ways in which it, it is done. It is not just through a dream. Again, uh, it, the, the, as I said, it, this could be the case as well that he does not uh, wishes to respond to our uh, prayer or supplication at all. Again, that could be uh, uh, an outcome as well, and we should be ready to face that outcome. Also, we would uh, we think that there are certain pious people through which istikhara should be done and istikhara would be something that if they indicate something, if they get some indication in their prayer or in their, in their dream, then this would be sufficient for us. This again is a wrong notion. Istikhara is a prayer and is something which should be done by the person himself. The person himself, whatever he is, he is to pray before the Almighty and he should know that this supplication will only hold any value before the Almighty after he expends all his intellect, all his mental energies in the, in, in the matter under discussion. And again, after that too, he might not get any response from the Almighty at all and he has to be uh, content with that because the Almighty, of course, when he does something, he does uh, take in, into view the collective good of the person. So, in a, in a nutshell, istikhara prayer is a supplication. In just like all other supplications, the Almighty might choose to respond to it and he might choose not to respond to it. We must not think that this prayer of istikhara or the supplication of istikhara is a, is a hotline with the Almighty and we have to we'll get an indication in the dream as soon as we pray or uh, if we do it in a number of times. This is not correct. And the person who is actually afflicted with that particular issue should be the one who should pray this istikhara, who should supplicate for the, before the Almighty, and he should also be ready to face the consequences, he should be ready to face the fact that he might not get a, any response from the Almighty. And also, an important thing is that if something, if there is something that he finds in his dream, which is against experience, which is against intellect, which is against established norms of sense and reason, then he should not reject that, he should not accept the, such things. Uh, dreams, of course, are, are not a certain way, and also at times there are a number of uh, uh, symbolic things in a dream which one sees. So uh, whatever one sees in a dream, again, 
it should not be something which overrides our intellect. It should not be something which goes against our intellect. And if it does, we should not accept it. So if with all these conditions and all these uh, uh, requisites, we should uh, try to understand that the prayer of istikhara or the supplication of istikhara is a prayer before the Almighty. It's a supplication before the Almighty and the Almighty may or may not choose to respond to it. Aqulu qali haza wa astaghfirullah ali wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.